what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It is time to unbox everything that my friend picked up from the clamp exhibition that happened in Tokyo, Japan. Now, if you missed my last haul video, she actually went to a couple of different places in Tokyo while she was out there on vacation, and she ended up picking up some really amazing items from a Sailor Moon exhibit, as well as the clamp exhibit. Now, I know there are a lot of you out there who are also big fans of not only Sailor Moon, but also a bunch of publications from Clamp. Clamp is a distributor and a publication company in Japan. They make a ton of different anime and manga that you have probably heard of, especially if you like magical girl type of anime. For example, they have done Cardcaptor Sakura, they've done Magic Knight Ray Earth, they've done X, they've done Wish, they've done Clover and Chobits and so many more. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm a big fan of a lot of those, even though I don't really talk about it here, it's because I generally don't collect a lot of that merchandise. You know, you gotta stick to one anime or else things get a little bit out of control. But Clamp is introducing a new anime based on Magic Knight Ray Earth, so you might be seeing more of that on the channel. Just putting that out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that my friend was able to bring home from the Clamp exhibition in Tokyo back in, when was that? July. Now, if I have prices for any of these items, I will definitely let you know what those prices are. But I have a feeling that a lot of the pricing will not be on the labels for these. But if I do find any pricing, I'll let you know. So first we have a beautiful laptop bag. Of course, this features T from Chobits. She's so cute. We have both versions right here. And then of course on the back, we have the cute little bunny character. I read this manga and watched that anime way back in like the early 2000s. It's been a very long time. I should probably catch up with it again, but it was one of my favorites. The artwork on here is really beautiful. This is fake leather for this laptop bag, and it looks like it'll fit like a 15 inch laptop pretty well. I have a 14 inch laptop that I just got, so I'm really excited to be able to use this. The interior is also very, very nicely done. We have a whole bunch of different pockets for things like your charging cable, maybe you have a carry around mouse or flash drives that you need to carry with you. And then we also have this sleeve in the back where you can slide in your laptop. There is also a little pocket on the exterior on the backside too, where you can put like receipts. This is a really nice laptop bag and it's perfect timing because I'm about to travel and visit my family in North Carolina. So I'm definitely gonna bring that with me. Now, most of the items that I asked my friend for were relatively flat like posters and postcards and things of that nature, I was very aware and I tried to remember that she's only bringing carry-ons, so I can't like stuff her bag with a bunch of souvenirs when I'm not the one traveling to Tokyo, she was. So with that in mind, the only item I asked her for that was not like a flatter item is this little glass. It's a little tumbler glass that also features chi from Chobits. I'll open this for you so you can see it. So here's the glass. Hopefully you can see that without too much of a reflection. There's a whole bunch of little hanging stars all over it. It's very, very dreamy. Then we have Chi sitting on the front and she looks super cute with the little bunny next to her. And I really love her dress and I love the, I kind of like the color combo on here, how it's blues and light pinks. It's very cute. I thought this would be perfect for whenever I need like a cup of water in the middle of the night or something like that. This is such an adorable little cup that I could, you know, just keep on my nightstand. I won't take this item out since it is already on display. It's very pretty though. This is a wireless charger. Now this charger runs off micro USB, so it is a little bit of an older style wireless charger. It is a Qi charger, so it will work with all of my current phones, but it will charge very slowly. So this is something I will also be putting on my nightstand and just allowing my phones to charge overnight. I am a tech reviewer so I often have a lot of phones sitting around that I need to review and I need to charge. So this will be something that I can set just over to the side and charge and not have the expectation of those things charging rather quickly. Uh, this one charges at five volts, one amp, five watts, which is very, very slow. Do we have pricing on these? Let's see, no pricing on this one, but this was, the wireless charger was 39.60 yen. One of the cool things that my friend was able to get from this exhibition was some freebies from the exhibition itself when you go there in person. 
collection. Uh, one of the freebies is a set of cards. So these are the Clamp Exhibition Card Collection, which she did open. She kept whichever ones she wanted. And then she gave me a couple of the extras. So these are really pretty. And these are from, of course, two of my favorite anime. We have one from Chobits, and then we also have one from Magic Knight Ray Earth. So here we have this beautiful piece of artwork of the girls from Magic Knight Ray Earth. I really love this piece of art. It's so pretty. It is two-sided. So there's the back of the trading card. And this one is also two-sided. The second item she was able to get is this really beautiful piece that includes a whole bunch of bookmarks, like a bookmark set. Uh, this has, of course, the logo for the exhibition on the front. So this has clamp drawn out and it says the National Art Center Tokyo, which is where this exhibit took place. On the interior, we have another limited edition card. Oop, he kind of slipped out, but here we have this limited edition card. I think he's from X. And next to that is a whole series of really cute bookmarks that feature chibi characters from all the different manga that Clamp has created. So some of the standard out ones on here, of course, we have Sakura, we have Magic Knight Re-Earth, uh, we have Chi from Chobits. We have a few characters from Cardcaptor Sakura on here. There's another manga that's specifically on this one. I see a few characters from this other one. I don't remember what that manga is called because I haven't read it myself, but it looks really, really beautiful. Definitely something I need to add to my to-do list because these look so pretty and so good. So this is a really pretty little collector piece and I'm so, so excited that she gifted this to me. So thank you so much to my friend. It's so cute, I love it. This was only 770 yen, which which was maybe four or five dollars with the current exchange rate uh, in 2024. This is a beautiful little art piece. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger than a postcard. I would say it's the size of one of the smaller clear files that you can find. A lot, oftentimes we'll have miniature clear files, but this is a really beautiful shiny piece of art. Let me take this out so you can kind of see it. So I don't know how exactly they made this, but when I pulled it up to the light so you can see the reflection, there you can see Ray Earth printed up at the top. And if I point it upwards a little bit, you can almost see like this 3D effect on some of the pieces of this artwork. Like the roses are a little bit brighter, a little bit more shiny than the rest of it. So I would call this like an art print more so than a poster or a postcard. It's uh, something a little bit different, but I thought it was very, very pretty. And again, that's one of my favorite pieces of art. This is just a little travel sticker of Chi from Chobits. I used to have this figure when I was in high school. I don't know what happened to her. She's probably in my studio or something, but she's a really cute little figurine of Chi from Chobits, and now I have a little sticker of it. This was the only piece I got from Clover, which is another really beautiful manga. Very, very pretty. I remember reading this when I was younger, and I just thought it was so beautiful. It was such a sweet story and kind of sad. Uh, this was 220 yen, really beautiful. And this postcard, of course, is of the girls from Magic Knight Ray Earth, and they are in those really awesome battle uniforms. Also 220 yen. This is a gorgeous clear file, which features Chi from Chobits again. I love the purple color of this clear file. I thought it worked perfectly for this piece of art and it's just so pretty. She's so cute. We have the girls in these really, really cool outfits again from Magic Knight Re-Earth. I love this one because it has Tokyo Tower in the background. It's one of the only few pieces that I found that has Tokyo Tower in the background from Magic Knight Re-Earth. So I was like, I gotta have that. That's so cool. Like this is a piece that I could frame and put up on a wall because it just looks so unique and so different. And last but not least, I have these three enamel pins and they are really pretty. These are from Magic Knight Re-Earth. I wasn't sure what to expect because the promo photos were just like the artwork for the pins. So I didn't know how big they would be. I didn't know what they would look like, but these are enamel pins. They are gold, of course, on the outside. We have the three main characters. We have Fu, Umi, and Hikaru. Did I just pull that out of my brain somewhere from when I was a teenager? Did I just remember their names? Because I haven't seen this show in so long. Yeah, I think it's Fu, Umi, and Hikaru. I appreciate that these are using gold metal, and I also really like that they have this beautiful all over, like, I think it's a UV print of each of the characters as princess formats as princess forms 
They look so beautiful. I can't wait to display those. So that is everything that I got from the clamp exhibition. Let me know if you are curious about any of these items or if you are also a clamp fan of any of their different anime and manga. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Uh, you have mostly seen here the ones that I really enjoyed and I really collected a lot. The only one that I didn't get any merch of was Cardcaptor Sakura, but that was also one of my favorites when I was a little kid. So if there is a clamp manga that I should read that I haven't done so yet, then let me know which one I should check out. I appreciate you for being here so much and make sure to subscribe so you can see all the awesome Sailor Moon merchandise reviews and news and potential tutorials as well. I'm thinking about bringing those back to the channel. And with that, I'll see you next time. Johnny.